Hello guys, it's me Simon Orahara and in this video we will talk about one of Kobo's new answers that has something to do with Komomura and Shohin clans. Is there a relationship between them? This fan's question came as a result of the similarities that exist between the two clans, especially after the secret of Komomura was revealed in the manga and anime as well as what Kubo said about the Shohin clan. For example, we have seen that Komomura originally belonged to a clan of wolves, and this clan used to be werewolves, but because of some of the crimes they committed, they were sent to the animal kingdom as a punishment. And as a side information in the Buddhist belief, the animal world is similar to the world of hell, so they were sent to the animal kingdom and took the form of animals. But somehow they went to the soul society, and from their descendant came Komomura. The important point here in the matter is that Komomura or any member of this clan can transform into a human again or return to the original form they were in by sacrificing their hearts. There may be another way that we don't know, but in the end they can transform from animal to human through their own methods. On the other hand, in the Shohin clan, some of its members can do the opposite, transform from human to animal. And the well known example we have is Yurichi the cat. In the past, it was believed that this matter concerned her alone, or perhaps Orohara Kiski was the one who enabled her to do this thing. But Kobo, in one of his answers to this question, said that this is not the case, but rather it has something to do with the blood of her clan, such that some of its members can transform into animals. Therefore, as long as both of these clans have their special ways of transforming from humans to animal and vice versa, is there a relationship between them? So Kobo's answer, and I see it frankly as an indirect answer, he said that there is no relationship between them, and he simply said that Kumura's name is not his real name, but rather the name that Yamoto gave him in the past, when he first met him. So regardless of the importance of this answer, this topic frankly deserves more attention and expansion from Kobo in the future, especially since he presented to us a new character similar to Yurichi in the fighting mechanism, who is Yayahara, who doesn't rely on Zanpakuto, and also uses techniques derived from some animals. I also would have liked to see a short flashback of Yamamoto with Komura, how their first meeting was, and how Yamamoto welcomed the young Komomura, because these are among the hidden aspects of Yamamoto's character that I would like to see someday. In the end guys, what do you think about Kobo's answer about the topic in general? Tell me what you think in the comments and see you guys in my next video.